all of you, like if you like any kind of sport, to tell me which sport that had a dream team was actually dominating for a long period of time outside of the basketball team of 1992 in USA. The Yankees. Dude. I was about to say <laughs> the dream <laughs> team. You can't yeah. just take that off. The <laughs> I mean, that's literally the dream team. <laughs> yes. What about the Yankees? Weren't they like on top for like 20 years? Or oh something? yeah, but they just bought everyone out. That, that's kind of cheap. Yeah, I guess so. Baseball's um, not fair. <laughs> okay. Okay. Huh. We've talked a lot about secret. <laughs> yes. I do want to talk a little bit about Dimes Big God. This yes. team in the qualifiers seems to rely very heavily on getting a fat burning, like which historically has been the way a lot of burning teams have gone. But it doesn't seem like it necessarily works. To that get well the fat burning, version. you have to do a lot of cardio. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nice setup there, LD. Well done. <laughs> Where are our symbols when we need them? You know? <laughs> yeah, we need the soundboard for this. Dakota, we need you. I, I will say, RTK has been classic <laughs> RTK when I've been casting them, where one game he's brilliant, the next game, not so much. <laughs> Normally, it's Shao Wei going to the mid lane. They have like two players who fill kind of a similar role to me. Shao Wei, RTK, mm -hmm. generally not known for like crushing their lanes, but more just making really smart decisions in the mid game. and. I feel it puts a lot of pressure on them up against Secret, because mm -hmm. Secret is a team that all these players can just flat out outskill their opponents 1v1 in lane. Arteezy, S4, uh, you ask any pick. pro, not many are going to disagree that they could just flat out win their lanes 1v1 against the vast majority Five of other pros. So I worry a little bit about the laning stage here for Big God, and they generally have relied on just taking it to late game, Reserve out farming time. their opponents, and then burning 6 slot and they just win the game, but mm -hmm. I don't think you can out late game Secret like that. Maybe not, and Seems especially, they shine. especially because of that, what we're talking about is like Secret is going to get farm in all of their heroes. And uh, Burning's teams are intrinsically Burning centric. Uh, D DK wasn't DK always wasn't. so yeah. much. DK wasn't, yeah, that is yeah. true. But ac it was actually Mushi who had to give more than Burning. Mushi was the one who went to be more of a tempo control. He started playing a lot more Magnus. We saw the Dragon Knight. He was building more selfless items. So I think you are right. Even, even looking at DK, it was Burning who kind of maintain his standard approach to the game, or is Mushi had to give more to make way for him? Mm -hmm. And the question is, like, when you're playing for Protect One in this meta game, like, it, does that still make sense? And if it's not, like, a very, like an old school for Protect One, just, like, prioritizing a guy extremely over the other four might not be the best tactic, unless mm. you can just get that person going. And that's when, like, heroes like Juggernaut make a lot of sense for uh, big gods. And I Speaking of Juggernaut, Bruno, yes. funny you should mention him. We've got a draft, guys. It's Big God versus Secret, and I believe we're just going to hop right into it. Let's Here we take go. a look. Oh, ah, boy. Wow. oh, my. Look at this. How? So, uh, interestingly, the Shadow Fiend <laughs> Band first phase here versus Secret. Apparently Arteezy's been spamming Reserve it in pubs time. with losses. Uh, maybe losses. with losses. <laughs> yeah, he's been losing on it, uh, supposedly. So he got the losses out before the tournament, so now the wins are supposed to come. Isn't that how it works? Yeah. I guess so. First pick Juggernaut by Big Gun. Nothing too unusual there. Oh, Secret bad. going for this Dazzle like in very early. Medium Puppy span. loves that early Dazzle. We saw him do it a while ago. The only other team that is from NIP did it in Star Ladder. First band, first pick Dazzle on like 80 or 90% of their it's, games. It's very popular with a lot of the CIS teams. Asus Polar yeah. particularly likes it. Empire goes for the Dazzle a bit, quite a bit. Normally with Avenge, but oh in this case, uh, Avenge banned first. <laughs> So, it got going to remove a Brood Mother Five here. Hurry, I'm not hurry. sure if Secret have been running this, but Lycan Brood is a very scary duo. And actually, the Dazzle Heal Bomb works time. really well with yeah. the Spiderling, so mm -hmm. I think it's a smart ban. Right. It's, so uh, it's a pick that everyone is trying to avoid. Like, we've seen a lot of Brood Mother runs today in the, the, the games that we've seen. Uh, it's just one of those heroes that it's very funny because when he was not on Captain's mode, people were saying, well, yeah, it's a hero that it's as a fifth pick is very good, but if you don't get it in a fifth pick, it's very easy to counter. That seems not to be the case. Uh, I think he was Ice Ice Ice, one of the first guys that started playing him non-stop when uh, Blue Mother came into the meta game. It's just a hero that's in paper easy to counter, but in reality not that much. Mm -hmm. Even when you have the counter, she's just so elusive, walking over the trees, moving to the edge of the map. I mean, Ice 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 is the perfect example of... I've seen him like, against the Legion Commander and still able to find space, find farm, and put a lot of pressure around the map. Yeah, and the ability that Broodmother has now that is just like ability to change lane immediately without even being in that lane. Just as long as you have one web, mm -hmm. then suddenly if people come to your lane, you pop four new webs next to the other one that was in the other lane, and bam, you move to the other lane completely right. free. All uh, right, Witch Doctor. Well, which, uh, which doctor, I not only Witch Doctor, Bristleback. I really dig the Bristleback here. I mean, with the Dazzle. I want to point Secret's out, Wisp, Wisp has been ignored so far in this yeah. draft. Something Ooh. that Secret, for a while with Big Daddy, were first picking. 
I don't know if they're going to run Wisp that much with the new lineup. I guess we'll, we'll have to see if they, they prioritize. Mean, Nami with Puppy and Kuroki, Kuroki played a lot played of... Wisp, yeah, so exactly. He's definitely a very capable Wisp player, but it looks like it's going to be a Visage. Yeah. I mean, I, I that's a lot of... Look, both lineups, heavy physical damage. Physical. There's yeah. like no magic damage, really. Just... Soul option. But yeah. when it comes to physical damage, Team Secret has the Dazzle Weave, right? So that, that yeah. should just either amplify it or protect yourself from it. So It's a really good Dazzle game. And it's interesting because Big Guide are kind of picking into more physical damage after seeing the Dazzle pick up. Hmm? Yeah. Well, truth is, uh, as good as Dazzle's ultimate is in paper as well, uh, you rarely get to weave both you and the enemy team. Even, even getting really one is still really good. Yeah. I don't think you need to do both, right? And you still have the power to choose. That's do like trying to hit a five-hero black hole instead of like two or three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean, still that versatility that makes it so scary. Let's also not forget about the like and how. Like, Bristol back early game could just tower die with the Dazzle backup and how. Mm -hmm. And how, you know, you, you just get run over very quickly. Yeah, like and Visage, very scary. Visage, Bristol back even could like very easily first blood level two. And uh, uh, you look at Big God here. Can they actually put pressure on the Lycan. They have a Jug Witch Doctor. This is the makings of a pretty decent aggressive trialing, but generally when we see teams just give Lycan free, free farm, he really takes away and yeah. takes off. And the other option is, of course, Secret could look to run the Lycan mid. So that's something Big God will have to... I feel like for Big God, a lot of this is trying to control the Roche Pit, not letting the Lycan just walk in there and secure the Aegis. They are Radiant right side, so that makes things a little more difficult for him, but they don't have amazing Roche control. And I guess Witch Doctor and Magnus are pretty good around the pit. Yeah, but I'm thinking more of like a scouting tool. Something like a TA trap in there would come and come in handy this game. Hmm? Yeah, and Secret can take Rush very quickly. Mm -hmm. All that minus armor. They're not particularly good at dealing Radiant with split spread. push either. Like their only catch is RP and cask. I mean, wait, you're you're not really gonna be able to stop Secret from split pushing. Um, is is this their three core? Magnus, Jug, and Viper. I would guess so. Yeah. And what what is this three core supposed Ten to do? Is Juggernaut going to out carry a Lycan Bristleback? That's what I was saying. Okay. Maybe it's a Juggernaut. This, on the this, this is this is no. This is what, hurry, well, it could be. It's possible. Uh, it's I possible. Mean. But this is what I was saying. If you're playing four protect wide, if you're going to play Wizard a lineup that time. requires uh, giving a lot to a guy, mm -hmm. the only way that you can uh, actually play this in this meta game is giving that hero that will get an impact 20 minutes into the game, not 50 minutes into the game. Like if the five hero, if the, the Burning's hero was a Spectre then you'd probably lose to a three core because by the time that Spectre is actually far, the three cores will be able to easy handle that okay, single so Spectre. you're saying Juggernaut is a better Ten hero because he could fight whenever. Yes, so a minute 20. you can give Burning all the priority Five in the farm and Burning will hit the Juggernaut pick much faster and if by that time you win, Dyer's then you win. Bad. If by that time you don't win, you wouldn't win even if you have any other hero because the other three cores I mean, are going to get Back in TI4, Lamb did run a jung jungle Juggernaut, yep. which had mixed success. <laughs> it, it could be that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is all about the physical damage. Now the Lich getting banned out. Yeah, they don't want to deal with the Frost Armor. Secret, fifth pick. They've got their supports, looks like. They'll need, I guess the Bristle will probably be in Zai's hands. You're looking at most likely Arteezy on the Lycan, and that leaves them needing oh, S4s here. Oh, what, are we, what are we looking at here? Maybe like a... I feel like they need some sort of Five team seconds. fight control. Hurry, S4 hurry. Puck banned. That would have been the, the obvious go-to. Yeah. Entar. Oh, well, wow. it could be a Bristleback, S4 Bristleback. Okay, Big so it looks boy. like probably like in mid. Look at all this. Artisi like in mid, Bristleback. Off lane? lane? Yeah. Centaur quick farming dagger on a safe lane is... Mm -hmm. if, if they put this jug in the jungle, this is screaming timber saw. I mean, this is like a... <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> would is be good a actually would be a really yeah. Yeah. He's great saw. against the wolves, great against these three strength heroes. Like, even... Okay, this is... Again, crazy, but even a faceless void would work here because what? all the all the cores for secret. <laughs> no, really, all all of secret cores are melee. Five seconds. Yeah, but hurry, I don't think you can kill hurry. anyone in Chrono. They they don't have that much burst. You have a witch doctor. Yeah, Reserve I mean, time. you yeah, gotta be careful though. But that got changed recently, where the the ward doesn't work. Yeah, it's that's a ward chrono. inside I the chrono. Chrono. I guessed a game where the player did it twice. They lost <laughs> his team in the game. So. Jesus, actually, you do have to be careful. Faceless void does a ton of magic damage because his time lock. And if you get a Maelstrom, it's all magic. So if you want to bypass some of the higher armor, maybe that's... I, 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 would, I, I would recommend tanky. against going Faceless Void in this situation. But what I'm saying is, all of three secret uh, carries are, or cores, are melee. And anything that can exploit that. I like the Timbers idea much more. Yeah. I mean, with the Magnus as well, all those melee cores, you can hit I just think they're light on damage. Ooh. You're up against three really Ten beefy strength heroes with a heal backing them up. We're assuming that Jaggernaut is support, right? Okay, so yes. So that's a lot of
Jungle damage. Okay. Yeah, it also gives them something when secrets, if they start death falling, now you have to worry about getting caught by RP, Echo, Witch Doctor, Royalty. It could work. It's the Lamb Shaker, the, the legend Lamb Shaker. from Lamb Shaker. MLG Columbus, who can forget. Yeah. I thought we'd never see it again because he was retired, but you know. But no, no one, no one retires in Dota. There no is. one retires in esports. Just when you think you're out, they pull you yeah, back. Boy. Right? Except Blitz. It's like crack. <laughs> he retired. Yeah. Well, he's gonna play in Stuff Cups. Dude, okay. like, Jane Dota's team is finally kinda legit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> Alright, let's leave it at that. Making hires around the Staff Cup. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll sabotage Blitz. That should be easy enough. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Just roam on mid and I'll start raging. No problem. Yeah. Didn't you guys see the Red Bull Seattle there? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, oh. so I, I gotta say overall, this I like the secret draft a lot. This yeah. is heavy on the physical damage, good split, good pick off potential, strong game. And I think their lanes are pretty good here. It's to me a lot of this game just comes down to the the Earthshaker. Can he roam a lot, oh set up some early kills? If not, I I worry for BG. He does have the golden totem. That might be the edge that he needs. Yeah, the demolishing king. All right. Well, with that said, Bruno, I think it's about that time. Yeah, I think we're yeah. stepping out and we leave Andrew and David. Which David? Which one? <laughs> so confusing, Bruno. <laughs> David like seven Zayori, Davids Zayori and house. Lumi. Zayori and Lumi. David Nanjang. <laughs> Thank you. Take it away. All right. So, Big God versus Secret, one of the more anticipated matches of our opening day, the group stage. Burning will take the Juggernaut. Gets a ward down nice and early. Um, am I supposed to be locking my camera on something here? Or no, just, just, okay, so I can just ignore this? I don't have to touch it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, you, you can touch it if you want. All right, I'll just leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, what's up, Lumi? What do we have going on here? Uh, we have... Dire I mean, I can't even see the preview screen. I'm gonna look okay, over Okay, alright, we'll share our preview screen here. Right. This is good. So, all it right. seems like RTZ so far is deciding on going on the mid lane. Although his item choice is quite interesting for a mid lane build. Yeah. It, is he no, he can't be jungling. It, it looks like a very safe lane oriented build. Yeah. Uh-oh, we lost our preview. What'd you do? Oh no, that wasn't me. Uh, oh, okay, there good. we go. Okay, so up top, ooh, maybe a little battle about it's that top bounty rune. Nope, not Avatar quite. So it looks like Zai will go off lane on the bristle back. Where does that leave the rest of the secret lanes here? Arteezy will take the Lycan, still kind of undecided where he's going. Looks like he is headed mid to rendezvous with Puppy on the Dazzle. That leaves us with two in the bottom lane, the Visage as well as the Centaur. The Centaur played by S4, soaking up all that farm, looking for a nice quick blink dagger. Yeah, so I think LD talked about how he really likes Secret's draft, but we, I didn't really get your opinion. What do you think here? Who's got the better draft? I like the Secret draft. I think it just fits so well in this meta right now. There's these big tanky cores that can also put out now a lot of damage sudden, alongside um, surviving through a lot. And you look at the BG lineup, and it's not like a, a team of super squishy heroes, but I just don't see them being able to handle this kind of face rush once you have a Blink Dagger up on the Centaur, once Bristle's kind of coming online and Lycan's there. I think controlling Roche will be very difficult for a Big God. Yeah, I think Secret's got much more of the balance draft, but at the same time, if BG gets a, for example, a three-man uh, reverse polarity, then things could get really ugly for Secret as well. So I think BG's lineup is much more difficult to execute. Yes. But should they execute, it's going to be uh, a spectacular game for them. Yeah, I could ag I could agree with that. I mean, up against three melee cores, Magnus, it should be a game where he kind of shines. Um, should be a little bit easier for him to at least get a couple two-man RPs at the very least. Now, we can't forget about empower, empower on Jug as well. Yes. That's very, very important. Allows him to solo Roche a little bit easier, farm more effectively, and well, just more damage output. Okay, I mean, early game is just pretty standard pulling, harassing. I don't think we're going to see early first bloods, especially not in the mid lane, right? Mm -hmm. Both people is going to be farming away. And I think that's really not in the favor. Oh, as I said, not to see early first blood. The great fissure block is going to force as a left, but how immediately comes yeah, out. Exactly, the how is, like you pointed out in the draft, not something to underestimate. That extra damage adds a lot, especially in these early levels when those right clicks are more important. It's, it's pretty serious. Yeah, but I was saying, I, I think Lycan trading farm with uh, Magnus, you want that early Vlast on Lycan, so I feel like the, the farm is benefiting uh, Secret a little bit more there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like he is gearing up for a nice fast Vlads with the uh, Ring of Protection. Boon to Cilius. Oh, nothing too wild. Now Puppy rotating in. Poison onto Zhao Eight. And I think he'll be okay here despite Dazzle being hasted up. He does have a Whoa. skewer. Actually, is he going to be okay? Puppy's doing a lot of damage. 
Gonna have to skewer upwards, but he's got haste. He's chasing. In fact, he can snipe the curve Bottle. if he wants. Bottle's gonna come right now. This could be a first blood. Haste the puppy going for it. The poison touch is gonna come down. Is he gonna tire die? In fact, he will. The house gonna come first out. Shockwave blood. trying to Woo! juke. The first blood's gonna go to puppy. Okay, and he lives from the tower. Yes, he will with a few hit points to spare. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Curl gets a kill on the Witch Shock, but now has four on the run. Burning may actually be the one that goes down here. He oh. does the double edge. Dazzle ends up getting killed by a neutral. Oh, that's somewhere else. Somewhere. That threw me off. Yeah. It's so, okay. One for one down bottom. Fissure on the top. Jeez. This is an action packed game. I love this. Three to three so far, but if you look at, I mean, most of the core is on, on Secret died, right? So. Technically, yeah. it's favoring Big God, but I'm not really sure yeah, so how where much. Did, where did the Dazzle die? Was that just an intentional suicide yeah, to the neutrals? Was that the, without a fight? I'm totally he, he just suicided to the creeps in the... Oh, okay, just for the, the TP back to the base. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nothing crazy. So 3-3, three to three, but Secret, they seem to be the ones coming out on top. The Lycan is the one racking up the farm in the mid, while Puppy was chasing the uh, Magnus. Artor is just racking up that farm. Yeah, I mean, it's okay in the sense that Shockwave would always allow you to catch up. Yeah, because Lycan can't really flash farm the same uh, same way a, a Magnus can, so yeah, it's not too bad for him. No, could certainly be worse. Juggernaut not getting huge farm in the offlane. Meanwhile, up top, ROTK in some trouble. Zai getting a very aggressive here, but no points in the goo, so not too much kill potential. Now, meanwhile, on the bottom, it's just nonstop aggression here in this match. I mean, you really see the power of how here because every time that gets activated, you have a very free grave chill and just start right clicking or poison touch mm -hmm. and start right clicking. You don't really need to commit a lot. But you still get a ton of harassing, and that all just comes from a Lycan in the mid lane. It's very hard to gank this Lycan mid because Puppy is constantly there with heals and graves. So, mm -hmm. very well thought out draft from Secret. Very strong laning. Yeah, strong lanes and then just great synergy all the way through the mid game as well. Another signs of a, of a good draft for sure. Burning away. still not getting a lot of CS in this offlane though. Only nine last hits in four minutes. As we talked about, uh, usually this team relies on burning, getting a lot of farm, and doing huge damage towards the mid and late game. Meanwhile, back up top now, ROTK in a lot of trouble, but Puppy may be the one that goes down. It's a one-for-one -one trade, Dazzle for Viper. Zai looking for Lamb, but I don't think he'll find him here. Nope, just goes back to farming. You know, normally when you just say Bristleback versus the Viper, one-on-one, -on -one, you would assume that the Viper is dominating him, be being a range hero, like a slow. But just adding a Dazzle and the How, being able to trade up like that is uh, pretty effective for Team Secret. So, you know, getting your opinion here, what, what can BG do to kind of recover? Even though they're trading evenly, it, you can oh. see on the gold graph that Secret yeah. is dominating. Yeah, about 2,000 net worth in their favor. Even the, the uh, experience is going their way. I think they need to prioritize farm on the Jug. That's the biggest thing that I'm seeing for like, everyone else on Big God. Like, yeah, Viper, he's struggling in lane a little, but it's a Viper. He can still do a lot of damage. He can recover the Jug. They need him to, to help control these tempos. And even just for Roche control, that's the other big thing. Okay. I think BG really need to prioritize getting Roche not only for their Jug, but just stopping it from, uh, from the Lycan. I mean, th does their lineup have a plan B, though? Because Jug is mm. rotating up top. He's, he's jungling. I don't think this is a plan B they're looking for. <laughs> this is more of a plan C, is what I would think. But I don't know. I mean, the 2 one backfiring a little bit. Can you afford to just sack the off lane, have a support follow burning around, and help empower through the jungle? I guess it's a little early for the, uh, the empower to really do too, too much here. No point in it quite yet. Yeah, I mean, Ooh. jungle farming is not bad if you have somebody else to take the bottom lane. Essentially, you're getting more farm for your entire team. But if you look at the bottom lane for BG, yeah, there's nobody there. Just Because nobody could, could stay there. So I think BG is just slowly losing out. And that's something that we talked, you know, in the pre-show, that BG never wins their lane, right? So this is expected. Yeah. And, and the question is, can burning carry? 20 minutes into the game, and I don't really think so. What's also scary here is that Secret's lineup isn't even really online yet. I mean, what, when it really gets scary is when the Centaur hits six, when he gets a Blink Dagger, um, even when the Lycan starts moving around. He doesn't even have Lifesteal yet. This is supposed to be when Secret's lineup is pretty weak, and they are getting a lot of farm. Just look at the last hits, and yeah. it's obvious which team has the advantage. So I, I think the big priority here for BG is to get that quick blink on Xiao Wei. Like, he, he is the person that could turn it around. Mm -hmm. uh, Lamb getting a blink would be excellent, but obviously he's just playing a support Earth Shaker. We can't expect too much from him. Yeah. Up top, Zai initiated on as the Fissure comes out, but again, just no kill potential, especially with the Dazzle behind him. BG kind of limited in their options here. At least Xiao Wei is getting good farm, as you were yeah. pointing out. 1,200 gold here at the seven minute mark on Brown Boots. He's, can, he's can doing he, okay. Can he afford to uh, get the Arcane, or do you think he just have to skip it and just go for the quick blink? I don't know. I think he needs the Arcanes, but it, it's a tough call this time. I th do you think he'll go for the Arcanes? 
I think you have to skip it. What's your call on it? Mm. I, I think you're doing that. Like you're doing so yeah. poorly already. Yeah, you're right. Look, just again, looking at how far the ahead these secret cores are. Maybe you're right. Just straight for the blink and do something to regain momentum for your team. They have completely sacked the offlane now. Burning is still just jungling away. He has his face boots at least. This is like the slowest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is. <laughs> yeah, not very effective. Yeah. Oh boy. And the other problem too is that now S4 is just getting complete free farm. Yep. So you can expect him to have a blink in probably two minutes time, especially if they knock down this tower. Arteezy rotating down. Those of pace picked up now. Maybe Arteezy even thinking about a Midas, given they're so far ahead. Just go greed mode here since there's no pressure on him. Yeah, I mean, Midas give, give you like a quick level 16, which matter quite a bit. Uh, the uptime on your shape shift is a big part in kind of drawn out battles. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see if it's actually going to be Could be treads. Could be treads too. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. It's more that pooling up the gold that makes me a little suspicious there if you wanted the treads. Uh. Yeah. The big difference in this game right now is that Secret is being much more efficient. So when you saw Arteezy pushing the bottom, mm -hmm. um, Visage was trying to gain his level 6 on the mid lane. Right. That's the efficiency that we don't see from BG. Again, nobody could stay in the bottom lane because a Stampede, a How means solo kill for S4. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, okay, I thought there was going to be some initiation there, yeah. S4 happy as a clam down here. Very quiet from Big God. They are really dedicated to this solo jungle juggernaut. And boy, is his net worth suffering from it. <laughs> I mean, the Visage is nipping at his heels. He's only like 200 gold behind. Yeah. Visage has just as much as experience also. They're both at the very beginning of level 6. This is turning into a support jug. I think if any other team watching this replay, one thing they should take out of it is that you don't give away Lycan freely without getting something big in return. I think when Arteezy was back in EG, Lycan was... I don't want to say they're bread and butter, but definitely a, a good, really powerful pocket threat. Yeah. And uh, they're just uh, showing it to BG right here. You're right. I mean, you look and at that's what... that's the Midas, like you said. There you go. So Arteezy already number one on net worth by a nice little bump. Magnus farming well, but... It just feels like the perfect game for it. There's absolutely no pressure on him. Yeah. 70 CS in nine minutes, moving into the jungle. There's just like no way Big God can do anything to slow him down. Oh, there's that blink dagger goal quickly approaching. Yeah, looks like a uh, good call there I, for you, sir. I'm still like, when I see, when I see 2150, I'm like, blink time. Oh, yeah. wait. I, it's, I it's, the, it's the old blink. Those old habits die hard, man, especially yeah. stuff like that. Looks like Xiao Wei's blink will come out right around the same time mm -hmm. S4's does. His blink dagger now uh, on his tranquil boots, but this is even just a Pretty fast blink for Centaur with the Tranquils as well. Yeesh. This is this is where things get hard for Big God because yeah. Centaur has done pretty much nothing but farm This has almost been a 4v5. And now uh, S4 has the flexibility to move around and help his team. Yeah, the, the difference between the two blink daggers is that Centaur's blink means much more early game impact because the cooldown of your Hoof Stomp as well as Double Edge is quite low compared to the reverse right. polarity. So you can set up multiple ganks. And it's much easier to set up that gank as well because you have the your ultimate, the Stampede, to go with it. So we'll, we'll see if it's going to be a, a easy kill at top or will Magnus mm, do the counter gank that he needs to. Blink. Ooh, Zhao Wei misses the skewer. There's a smoke rotation from Secret. Puppy as well as S4 on the way up. Looks like S4's smoke got broken. All five heroes from Big God grouped up at this top tier one tower. So even if Secret just stalemate here and kind of keep them on the edge of their seat, you've got Arteezy uh, farming the bottom and Kuroki farming in the mid, starting to pressure these towers. Yeah. One thing that Secret is a little bit hesitant in terms of initiating is that they don't know what the, what the Earthshaker is. I say that they're jumping up top here, they're going on the Viper, but you see that Earthshaker constantly being in position. Because he's uh, hidden away from Secret, they can't commit too much because you saw it over there, a single Fusion will kind of break things up. Yeah, so they do force out the Stampede from S4. Tier 1 tower up top looks like it'll fall, and minimal damage on the Tier 1 middle and bottom. Still, victory for Secret, despite having to burn that Centaur cooldown. Probably feeling okay. Looks like Puppy was moving to a fast urn, and Kuroki already picked up his fast medallion. So Roshan options quickly opening up here for Secret, especially as Arteezy gets a little closer to that life steal, moving yep. into the Vlads. Yeah, I really don't know how BG can make a comeback here. Again, we're still seeking that big RP. But even if you get, let's say, a three-man RP here, where's the damage coming from? Witch, Witch Doctor, Doctor doesn't have the level six yet. <laughs> I mean, at this point, Omni Slash is essentially a single-target spell. Or I mean, it is a single-target spell. Yeah. You don't have any big cleave to go around. You don't have a Blade Fury to follow up. So even if you find a big RP, there's not much damage to really push things through. Yeah, and Secret are just getting further and further ahead. Now with that tower kill up top, it's like a 5,000 gold attacked. and experience lead. Considering it's tied four to four, that just speaks to how 
much better. Secret have been working the map, finding farm, and just making it happen. S4 here, invisibility rune on, ready to fight. BG have a lot of reinforcements in the mid. Ooh. Oops. Drop the sentry, sentry ward, see it. Uh -oh. Okay, are they gonna go? Here comes the cats. Enchant totem, the fissure, blink, shockwave. They're throwing everything on S4. He almost Ooh. could have survived if the Tassel got in range for the grave, but. Yeah, it's only level one, so that's short range. Difference between life or death, but just showing how difficult it is for BG to do damage. That was just one hero. Right. Imagine if that was a 5v5. That uh, is where things are. Now, I, I don't want to rain on the BG fans, but even though they got a pretty potent kill on S4, they're not getting any objective from it because they don't have a Lycan. They don't have a, a Visage Bird to push off of. Yeah. So at least it, they've got burning farming yes, in the side lane. Though. It's he a very important kill. Matters. It's a very important kill, but they're not getting much apart from the single hero kill gold. Yeah. Bristleback now with a mechanism picked up. It's a nice little piece there for Secret. Probably a sign that they'll want to continue to stay aggressive here. Mm -hmm. Of course, a great early team fighting item. I mean, good news, and really makes that bristle tanky. Now 11 armor, 1200 HP. He's, he's, he's pretty solid. He's feeling comfortable. It would not surprise me if Secret just go ham on, on just 5 mid with this uh, mech, because BG already lacks damage at this point, and then adding a mech to that just simply makes them almost unkillable. The only dangerous uh, part of doing that is, you know, it makes RP much stronger as well. Yeah. And Shaoi has been holding to that RP. He hasn't used it for a good... 13, 14 minutes now. Yeah, still no arcane boots up on him. Zai in the front lines. He gets the positive medallion buff. 18 armor now as he just tanks the tower. And yeah, it looks like you're right. They're just going to group up, stay as five. Defensive weave on four of the five. Oh, they've got uh, one down bottom. Right. Like in split pushing. But defensive weave, and this will be an easy tower. He's there with how. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. BG thinking about an opening. Xiao Wei in the tree line with a haste rune on, considering his options, but. Secret just ready for it. And a nice delta split, nobody on top of each other. There's just no easy opening for this Magnus. Yeah, I think when you're ahead, and that, this is not just for Dota, but any Dota's kind of like eSport game is that fire. you think about how you're actually going to lose. And I think the only way that Secret could lose is getting four or five man RP. So why don't you just stick the Bristle back up? He's got, I don't know what, pieces. 8 billion armor with Medallion buff, with Weave, with the mech. Yeah. And he's going to beat on the tower. And there's nothing BG can do about it. Yeah. Viper, he's picked up a mech also, so Phase Boots uh, mech his opener. And good team fighting for BG, at least they're even on that front. The other issue here for BG is they just, even farming evenly right now, just sitting back, not trading kills, but just trading farm. Secret wins that battle. They've got the Midas. There's, there's no farm accelerator on the dire side. Yeah. So Secret are in that lovely position now where they can sit back and farm, or they can take fights at their leisure. They can kind of do this however they want and feel safe on either edge. I like we're just talking down BG so much, but I'm still struggling to see any real opening less secret grouping up, handing over some really silly engagement. If secret continue to play tight, crisp, and don't do anything too goofy, this is really hard for the dire side. I oh, think smoke. maybe in five to seven minutes, BG will have enough damage on Juggernaut where they kind of could smoke him solo into the pit and, and take mm -hmm. the Roche for free. But I imagine Secret is, they're constantly checking. They're going to smoke into growth themselves. RTZ walking in, not being smoked, but they will do it so fast that if you don't react right now, the chance is already up. Yeah, and you see the Dire Vision, no clue. The Centaur is still smoked, ready to jump in to counter-initiate if something goes wrong. But yep, easy peasy for Secret. And that'll be Artor with an Aegis. Yeah, something that Zai said in his uh, recent interview is that he feels his team is has a very kind of strong understanding of the game. You know, how can we actually lose in this situation? We're so far ahead. The only way that they can kind of climb themselves back in the game is through Nit Roche. We take that away from them too. Yeah. So now it's just attacked. about map control and crisp execution of these team fights. All the tier one towers down for BG, so it's three to nil on tower count. Objectives, more and more of them going the way of Secret. RTK has been pretty quiet this game also. We see the mech, perhaps BG anticipating that Secret will be the aggressors here, but if you're not fighting, the mech is not quite as much of a value item. Yeah. They have all the items that could give them a good fight, just not the opportunity to fight yet. Because mm -hmm. uh, Secret has been uh, denying them the fighting opportunity. Yeah, S4 gets another counter ward. Just continues farming up. So he'll have about 1,300 gold. We'll see what the Centaur moves into next. I think we saw the Bristleback pick up a Vanguard. So Crimson Zai just Garden, didn't yeah. even tank here. Yeah, Crimson going to be coming out. You know, if you go for the trifecta, like the Crimson Mech Pipe, yeah. and just go down mid, does BG actually have enough damage to go through all of those stuff? I don't know. I don't oh. think so. But now in the mid, we're going to see a skewer onto Kuroki. He'll get pushed back right into the BG lineup, and 
Well, they kill the Visage, but again, it takes quite a bit. No RP used, but they had to commit the Death Ward for it. Is this the longest game ever seeing no RP? Radiant Possibly. Time. 17 <laughs> minutes, no RP is a pretty damn long time. I wonder what the stat is on that. Like, longest yeah. pro game before an RP is used. I, I know, like, Black Hole is one of those spells that you don't use for a long time. It's okay, sort of. Yeah. But well, RP is... Uh, it's a little different. Like, Enigma, more than half that hero's power is the ability to get a fast mech, clear out the jungle, push, push towers. Yeah, yeah. You look at Magnus, a lot more one-dimensional. You know, sure. you're, you're fighting around that RP. You don't, you're not picking this hero for the Empower buff. It's a nice well, added Well, actually, bonus, this game is going to matter quite a bit because uh, <laughs> Juggernaut is really playing catch-up. S4, though, coming in route. Another Invis rune. Mm -hmm. Could pick off Ice Ice here. This guy's just the master of the runes. It's all about the haste runes this game. It's about the Invis. <laughs> oh, here comes the Stampede. Lamb. Ooh. <laughs> the, the picnic echo comes out. Okay, well. Well, I mean, he wasn't doing much with that echo, right? Like, yeah, it's hard for him to get in position to use it, so. Yeah, so, you know. It's not a big deal. He lives. It maybe scares him off a little bit. You hear that big thud and just assume there's backup on the way. And now, see, they'll just move into the tower. They've still got some decent time on the Aegis, about two and a half minutes. So why not group up and try and knock down some towers? Glyph will be used. Now, this could be a little scary. I don't think Secret are going to high ground here, but when you burn the Glyph for a Tier 2, it does open up that option. You look towards the high ground and just try to Zerg down to Tier 3, and maybe they will try I mean, it. they got the Aegis, and it's yeah. timing out soon, right? So might as well use it. So, all right, shall we? It's all up to you. How good is your RP? Here comes that Weave defensively. Fissure just to buy a little bit of time. Shockwave burning things down. But, again, Mech hasn't been popped. Do they have the... Uh a, uh, the Crimson Guard yet? I don't think so. Or okay, if he does, going straight it's back for BKB. Attacked. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so no Crimson. All right. Smart play though. They don't do much too, too much damage to the tower, but they do force BG back into their base. Burning stays top. Finishes off that tier one tower. So, makes the best out of that split push. Burning is actually recovered very well, and a, a lot of that is the RP giving you that kind of like mini Battle Fury buff. But yep. he's now number three on net worth. This is very impressive from from Burning. I have you mean to the admit. reverse polar or, or the the empower? Did I you say said RP? I oh, said I meant reverse polar. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, we're just the terrible. empower. That's yeah, the empower, spell yeah. we're looking for. But he, he's actually going for the standard uh, Manta style, but. There's really no silence you're debuffing this game, so do you think he should have gone for like a much heavier damage? Because they do need the damage. Maybe, I mean, Manta, not that bad for the split push. Gives you just a, a little bit of extra uh, to play around with. You can stack and, and move around with it. It might also not be Manta. It could just be a casual Yasha to farm, and he'll move yep. into something a little differently here. He's pulling up that gold, so we'll see. Actually, Manta is, is pretty excellent as a farming item. You talked about the movement speed for Yasha, but even Stack if you just two. pop the two illusion and just have it push away, with yeah. the crits, you know, you could mow it down pretty quickly. Yeah, great hero. He's going for the stats build with a little extra in the crit. Jog kind of known for that value point in the level 1 crit. 200% to do 20 is pretty damn good. Oh, S4 getting very close here to Shao A, but who Stom's gonna open things up? Is he gonna die here? It probably will be. RP's gonna get used. Oh no, not like that. That's the first RP of the game, and he's using that as a survival. He might not even survive. And that is just leading the opening here. Blink 4 for S4. Going on Lamb. Lamb on the run as well. You know, regard. Oh, uh, oh casual death for Picnic. There's so much Picnic game in this game right now, and I think Ice Ice is gonna be dead as well. Definitely, unless this cast does some serious work, bouncing around the heroes, it'll get stopped now as four goes in even further back on the lamb and RTK there with the man trying to turn around, but in comes Kuroki. They get the kill on the centaur, but it'll cost them a witch doctor. ROTK and Lamb pushed back to the well. But meanwhile, on the top lane, Artor gets a tier two tower. He also found a solo kill on the jug while we were watching that fight. So how was that even possible? Did you just get run down? I'm really not sure. Alright. But yeah, a lot of things happening for Secret in that, that fight down bottom. Sure, they lose S4, but even up top, just getting a free Tier 2 tower, this Lycan is huge. 50% ahead of Jug on net worth. This is scary. I think S4 got a little bit, he over, a little bit overcommitted because obviously he died. And honestly, if you force out an RP and a Death Ward, and if the Centaur didn't die, they get Raxus right there. Yeah. Because honestly, how are you going to defend against a, a Lycan Centaur just going on your base? But uh, because he did die, BG gets uh, to save their racks a little bit longer, but they did steal a big stack, so... Well, they're trying to. A lot of low health ancients. Uh, looks like BG will be able to clear out most of it, at least that big Drake and his friends. Being very cautious before going down to the low ground. Smart idea from Secret, though, trying to steal the ancients. Very efficient. Puppy with a very well-rounded Dazzle build here. A little extra in the poison, a little extra in the grave. Nothing maxed out. I like this. Getting the best of all the worlds. Yeah, I think grave is... Probably the first spell he should max out. 
Yeah. I mean, I think Grave against Omni Slash, probably, if you could cast it quickly enough, it's a pretty big uh, part of your defensive capabilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Arteezy picking up that level 3 Necronomicon. Oh, well, I wonder where he goes next. Something like a Basher could be good. Just move into the BKB could also be AC? an option. AC as well. Yeah. They're just looking to break high ground now. Anytime yeah. an item purchase is either for pushing or just survive longer so you could push more. And Olzai, actually not a BKB, it's an S and Y on the way, so he wants sure. to go a little more right click, be a little more aggressive. Great item on Bristleback. Gives him everything he needs. So I think uh, right now the two most important players on BG is the farm on the Juggernaut and Xiaowei dropping good RPs. Uh, we saw a pretty poor one earlier, it's, it's all up to burning I guess. <laughs> All burning teams. It, it feels like it all falls back on this. It's like can burning and carry us. Oh, up top, Arteezy may get initiated on smoke rotation. Radiant's BG not gonna be able to do it. It's nighttime, damage. and they will be a little more cautious. Okay, so there. let's say BG gets like Gengar. They use the RP and kill Lycan. Is that even so good? Because if Lycan just buy out flat out and just go down your mid, like possible. Is that a trade that you want to make? Mm, probably not, but I don't know that Arteezy would buy back like that. That feels like too big of a risk. But yeah, the RP is down, but just face rushing the You're base. You're so ahead, you don't want to take that risk. Yeah, they just don't need to. It's just an Ooh. unnecessary risk. Burning gets caught down bottom. The weave flies through. He's losing that armor. Stampede's utilized. He'll try to blade Fury to get away, but it won't happen. Dazzle gets the kill. Big pick for Secret, though. Jug. He grabbed a Battle Fury right before he went down. Interesting item pick up. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, Lamb in some trouble. Arteezy finds a kill there in the big wolf form. Dyer's and even in the mid, Zion, the front damage. line, pushing back the rest of BG. Two heroes Dyer's hitting the deck in the side lanes. Forward. And now Secret look to pressure the tier two mid. They actually glyph this. This could open up a attacked. window of opportunity for Arteezy just to push up into the top lane and get the rack going on. Yeah, they, they got a 30 second before Juggernaut comes back. They could all just rotate the top, ignore the T2, but they'll take the T2 safe for sure, and you now they're starting to chip damage at T3 as well. Yeah. I thought that they may just try and split push the lanes, leave Arteezy top, and they'll go as a team mid, but instead they just take the tier 2. Arteezy moves back into the jungle, and I don't even know if they'll go for the high ground here. So the Battle Fury choice on Juggernaut might seem pretty awkward because you already have the uh, Empower to give you the cleave. But I really think that if they, they're going to win this game, they need big, uh, big crits. Mm -hmm. and, big AoE uh, damage to go yeah, with big the Big AoE RP. damage. Yeah. I mean, Empower already gives you a little bit of both, but... So now he's got huge... The, the more base damage. damage you have, the bigger your crits are, and the stronger your Omni Slash is. So I think they're kind of going all, all or nothing here. But it's, it's really weird to see him go for it so late because right. it's, a, it's a great farming item earlier. I mean, he did go for all farming tools, though. You look at Mask and Madness, one of the reasons you get it because it lets you farm in the jungle, opens up Roche, and is also really good with your Omni Slash. Casual Yasha, same deal. Just gives yep. you everything you need nice and efficient. So he's prioritizing a lot of farm, but I don't know if it's working here, Lumi. 12k net worth lead for Secret and about 12k experience as well. BG have a lot of farming to do if they want to get back into this one with a Battle Fury. Well, it's a pretty obvious smoke here. <laughs> well, actually, they're showing two people on the map, so maybe not so obvious. But uh, we'll see if they're going to find anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Kuro with uh, now the Agnum Scepter gets that extra familiar and those mobile wards. Also a gem picked up onto Kuro here. Yeah. Puppy bought it, but more vision control for the one Radiant Dire. They've only got one ward down, and it's up here in the top lane, this little guy. So pretty blind and not a lot of space playing. for them to farm. Yeah, essentially, if you look over to Arteezy, he's already six slotted. I mean, I don't, I don't think Midas counts as slot, but Three so so early on, it's, it might as well be. And he's gonna round it out with the Aegis. It's gonna spawn really, really soon. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's a max respawn too. That's actually yeah. kind of unfortunate for Secret. I feel like they could have maybe moved in there a little earlier to put some pressure on the high ground, but. Again, they have the farming tools, so it's right. really not that big of a concern. So can B BG find a big ultimate, big RP? Mm, we'll see. It's actually Secret that want to be the aggressor oh. here. Zai comes out of the low ground, finds Xiaowei. Stampede used as the Dazzle Weave flies through. Look at the Viper on the backside just getting run down. He's got to pop the mech just for himself. And he still dies. Yep. <laughs> he is left behind. BG were not ready for that. They were Very not. smart timing for Secret. Looking at the Roach, they know it's close to the max timer, hasn't responded yet. Smoke on the high ground, and perfect time for a gank. Now this is a free uncontested Roach, and another Aegis for the luck. Yeah, I mean, Xiao 8, he got hit, I think, twice by the uh, 
Bristleback and he lost like half health. Granted, he had, you know, Weave on him and there was how bonus, but that's essentially how it's going to be every single fight. And Xiao Yi's one of the tankier heroes, so Bristleback right now packing the damage. Same thing with the, the Wolf. Burning, maybe initiated on up top. Zai in hot pursuit. He's speedy, 455. Ooh, picks up a Mystic Staff as well. Burning just TPs out. Smart play there. The only play there. The pain, yeah, the pain tray was coming. Well, the, the alternative was death, so I guess there was another play. Have we seen an Omni Slash this game? Uh, it's not, kind of a bad sign if we haven't I really. Don't think so. <laughs> we haven't seen Omni Slash in 27 minutes. At least that he not just, that I've noticed. Yeah, he's just farming. Like, that's the only thing he can do. He can't go for solo picks. But look at this. It's Blink Dagger on Lamb. All right. That steps in the right direction. Actually, a pretty big item pickup. But they are just walking through so many wards. Uh, uh, they do have a gem now on the Witch Doctor. He just okay. bought it. So maybe Ice Ice can start getting some vision control back for the team. That could be pretty big. At least more steps in the right direction for BG. Yeah, Witch Doctor got also pained out immediately. Uh, so Secret is aware of the gem and the, the D ward that could happen. The yeah. gem got passed somewhere now to, I think, Earthshaker or... Oh, no, uh, to Magnus. Okay. Uh, yeah, Magnus. So small steps, like you said, baby steps. Mm -hmm. But steps nonetheless, not completely over yet. Secret in a very good spot, feeling confident, but still yet to close this one out. Arteezy farming the Dire Jungle. He did go for the Assault Karas, so yeah. good call on that one as well. Just more tools to break the high ground, make it even easier. S4, invisible again. What is with this guy? Man, checking the runes, it's the benefit. All is going to get jumped on in front of his tier 3, and honestly, I don't think his teammate will come here. Can he even pop the mech? Ice, ice, ice. Well, just two ice, but he just dies very quickly. And that opens the door up for that tier 3. We're going to see a magical. Oh, Echo is going to come through. The RP is going to hit on everybody. And here comes the army. GG Slash with the Battle Fairy, with the Empower, but nobody dies. In fact, it's going to be BG dying. What? Is that the game? How are they still alive? I think that's the game because Secret think it is going to run you over now. And buyback status, not looking so good for the Dire. Yeah, the three going don't have it. Throw. Straight, I mean, why the hell not? That was BG's entire rotation. Even if they had buybacks here for all five heroes, what do they do? Where does the damage come from? I guess the jump, but they'll just jump on it. What a perfect setup for BG. Everything going their way and just not enough damage. I saw those cleaves. I was like, Secret is screwed. It looked BG really is good. doing it, and then their whole team imploded. Yeah. I mean, coming into this game, we were saying it would shock us if Secret doesn't play close to perfect and play extremely well. Mm -hmm. And this this is one of those games. It might, it might be very boring for the viewers out there, but it's one of the most well-executed game I've casted. Just yeah. never really overcommitting. I think the only time that, if you air quote, that uh, they overcommitted was S4 diving a little bit deeper than he needed oh, to. Oh, yeah, that bottom Gave a too. solo kill. Maybe could have ended the game five minutes. They earlier. still got like three kills out of that exchange anyway, right. though, so it was so. still pretty good. Very crisp from Secret, as we pointed out, like looking at that game, the only way BG can get into this is if they get a five-man RP if Secret dive the base.